Hey, what's going on everybody? Ace here, and today, before we get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that at the end of this video, there's going to be a small update regarding uh, the uploading schedule and when the next review is coming out, so if you want to stay tuned till then, uh, feel free. Uh, but for now, let's talk about Sploon! Splatoon 2. I have an amiibo. To be honest, much like Crash Bandicoot, the Insane Trilogy, there really isn't that much to talk about in regards of gameplay and story, because it's all kind of the same. Story mode is basically the Zapfish, the great Zapfish was captured yet again by the Octolings, and it's up to you, the player, to stop them and get the Zapfish back. That's pretty much it. The only difference is that, I believe his name was Captain Cuttlefish, is not the mentor like he was in the old game, or in the first game. It's actually up to Mari now, and Callie is nowhere to be seen. Instead, we're introduced to these two new characters who are basically take up the mantle of Kali and Mari. These characters are named Marina and Pearl. I'm honestly thinking Marina, or yeah, Marina? Pearl? Pearl is the white one. Pearl is the one that's a little odd to me. And Marina is the one that the whole internet's swarming over. Pretty sure she's an Octoling. I think. Just like in the first game, they announced when the new stages are gonna be switched, what all is gonna be, what all like the turf wars and the the ranked battles and what all those stages are gonna be. They also announced like new um, splat fests that are coming up, which uh, the previous one, which was came out before the game was released, was ice cream and cake, and this one's supposed to be mayonnaise and ketchup. Of course, in the shops, there's a bunch of different characters now, but the little horseshoe crab guy is still there, sells you weapons, and uh, speaking of weapons, the, the I haven't really had time to actually try any of those new ones out, but the ones that I have tried, the duallys, are freaking cool. They're basically dual pistols that uh, gives you another special ability to actually do a dodge roll, which I find very useful, and I've actually grown to love these weapons. I might stick with them for a little while. Gameplay-wise, Splatoon 2 doesn't really seem any different than the first one, and to be honest, that's okay with me. A lot of people might be like, oh, well, they should have tried some new stuff. Well, you know, they, uh, mm, Call of Duty. That's all I'm gonna say. Call of Duty. And of course, you have your clothing, which gives you preset uh, perks like faster swim speed, uh, faster run speed, faster reload, stuff like that. And it's all randomized still. They didn't really change anything about that. Um, still, uh, with my character, I haven't really noticed any changes yet. Um, <clears throat> kind of minor. Not really a big, oh, he's unstoppable now kind of deal. Um, you can get new merch every day, so every day you go back into the shop, you can buy new stuff with new perks, and then you can level them up, and it, it, it's, it's basically the same. I think the biggest change to Splatoon 2 is actually the graphics. Everything looks nicer now, which, you know, for the new hardware, of course it's going to look nicer. But by that, I mean... If everything's got some kind of shine to it now. The ink actually looks like ink. It looks like something like if you shined it on, shined it under a light, it would reflect. Whereas in the original game, it looked like very pastel matte, uh, kind of like paint, where you know, uh, just it just didn't it just did its job. It covered it in color, but it didn't really look shiny. It didn't really have that depth, and I really appreciate that. Sim similar to the Inklings. Their uh, squid parts are shinier, um, and they just look crisp. This whole game looks crisp. Everything, I know the whole uh, point of the stage is to cover it in color, and you're not going to really be looking at the environment except for the portions that you don't cover in ink, or that aren't not covered in ink, but this game looks beautiful. Just kind of starting the stage and you see the whole thing and it's it looks like a industrial and skate parks and all this other stuff, but it looks really nice and that's probably the biggest change that I found playing through Splatoon 2 so far is the graphical overhaul. It looks really good. Ranked battles are actually there, I believe, 
from in Splatoon 1, they weren't there at the launch, but now they're here at launch, and speaking of um, battles and all that, the uh, connectivity to online matches is actually really nice, and didn't have any problems connecting to a match. The longest that it really took was maybe 20 seconds at the most, but then I got right back in and I wasn't kicked out at all due to crappy internet or crappy connectivity to the servers. It's just the connectivity seems on par, whereas in like uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, there were a couple portions where I got kicked out of a game and it was really hard to find a match, um, and uh, the connectivity wasn't all that great, but here it's, it's awesome. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about Splatoon 2. If you enjoyed the first one, most definitely pick up Splatoon 2 when you have a chance, and you'll have fun. I, I can guarantee you, if you had fun with Splatoon 1, you can have fun with Splatoon 2. And for those of you who don't know about Splatoon 2 or anything like that, it's a good game series to get into. If you're into combat shooters, stuff like that, uh, it's a little bit different. But yeah, I highly recommend you give it a shot. It's, it's a lot of fun. Okay, now as for the update concerning the next review, I've actually been very busy with other things. And um, I'm hoping to have it out by the end of the month. I've got everything, rec I got the gameplay recorded, I got the voiceover recorded, I still need to do the live action segments. And there's a lot of editing that's going to be going into this review. And it's going to take me a little bit longer than I really wanted it to. I actually wanted it to come out today um, at the time of this recording, which is Splatoon 2's release date. So, but I opted to actually just do the first impressions today and hopefully get everything done and start finishing it up tomorrow um, and then I can actually have it out by the end of the month but that's when the next review is going to come up and then the next one we actually have all the gameplay and the voiceovers we're going to be starting to record we're going to finish up the live action segments at a later date hopefully that'll come out sometime in the middle of the next month and then I'm hopefully going to be getting to more of those quick bits and top fives and uh, stuff like that so that's kind of the update at where I'm at. I know it's kind of uh, kind of a small update. It's not really something that pro I probably could have gone on Twitter, but I feel like I should have expre I should express it face to face with you guys. Um, it's just stuff like that. Uh, hopefully by the end of the month it'll be out, and it's, it's looking to be a good one, guys. Um, as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, then by all means, like this video, and why not share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content. I mean, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna be uploading more stuff, hopefully, and, um, yeah, it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. If you wanted to see another first impressions, you can click here somewhere. I'll have my first impressions of the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. My hair is a mess. <laughs> But that's besides the point. And then over here I have my latest review of Ty the Tasmanian Tiger with Tap Chap. If you haven't checked him out, go check him out. Go check out this video first. And right here in the middle, of course, there's going to be a subscribe button. So I want to wish everybody a fantastic night. And I hope you all take care. Bye-bye!